right, it's a great day in America. So I'm here with one of my mentors. You know, the last episode I did, uh, episode seven, had John Cassidy as one of my mentors. But Eddie Smith has been a longtime friend, awesome man of God. I mean, you, people say that, but really you are. I mean, I really appreciate all the books you've written and what you've done in the to help others get their information out. So today I wanted to, you know, we, we have a lunch here. Um, I don't want to say about once every month, every two months, but it kind of flexible. Yeah, we like Thai food, and so we come here. All right, we haven't we haven't had Mexican food yet, have we? Or yeah, we went to Willie's one yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> so I really wanted to, to have this opportunity to talk to Eddie because he's really knows so much about publishing. With all the clients that I get to talk to, a lot of times I ask them, do they have a book in them? And most people do, but there's a lot more to it than just you know going through that process. So Eddie's going to help give a breakdown on different things that he does and what he does with authors and give some guidance and counsel. Sure. Um, one, uh, my website is worldwidepublishinggroup.com, and um, we publish books, uh, good books, clean books that are that are problem solving. Every book should solve a problem. Uh, people don't buy books just to get information; they buy books to resolve issues and solve problems in their lives. And so, I coach writers, and then I also publish books. Um, one of the things that I think is important. If you're considering writing a book, as 86% of the people in America consider doing, only three of them ever, three percent ever do it. But um, if you're considering it, I'd like to simplify it for you just a little bit. A uh, few people will tell you what I'm about to tell you. Uh, number one, write a book to one person about one topic that can be read in one evening. Start there. In fact, I have a new website I'm launching called microbookpublishing.com because people don't have time to read long books as a rule, and you'll do much better with a short book, a 36 or a 50 page or a 60 page book or a 75, less than 100 pages. That's a micro book, and people like those. They really appreciate them, and many times will buy them over the long books. So think of a problem that needs to be solved that you know the solution to, determine your outline, and then write your book again to one person you only have one reader at a time so don't think you're writing to a group of people consider writing to one person and one secret that uh, I teach in my seminars is uh, I took a picture of my niece and I taped it to my monitor so that I could write my book to her so I would say something like uh, Janice when it comes to this or that and then when I finished the book, I searched and replaced. I searched for Janice and I replaced with nothing. So instead of Janice, when it comes to this or that, it just says when it comes to this or that because Janice's name is no longer in the book. But I was able to write it to a seventh grader because that's the best le level to write for most people. So I hope that's helpful. Oh yes, great insight. You know, you've heard the saying that knowledge is power, but in reality it's applied knowledge is power. Yeah. So a lot of people have, are experts at what they do and then, you know, you have it all up in your brain per se, but it's good to have it in a book because you can multiply the communication, right? And so thank you for sharing that. Uh, what you do but if you want to get in touch with Eddie I'll put that information in the comment section and uh, so again uh, we we're talking about finding a mentor reading books uh, right now for for example one of the things I'm doing I'm scheduling time to read because you know people don't read books anymore per se but now there's audiobooks um, and you know by scheduling time to read uh, you'll find that over time you'll get through a book you know faster than you thought so I actually schedule 30 minutes a day that's Monday through Friday even Saturday to at least read 30 minutes a day but what I'm finding I'm, I'm reading more now and again applied knowledge is is uh, power and also it's cash is according to what Ty Lopez said and what a, the mentor so we want to learn things we want to be educated we want to uh, know stuff so that we can apply it to our lives help people solve problems so good luck with your book all right thank you so much for watching take care